Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, you could be react to one of your suggestions. Guys, this is Vijay Light Bones the Korean, but didn't realize this. Guys, let's go straight into this. The picture of burning Quran has caught the attention of millions of people on the internet and left them surprised. The holy book of Quran is being burnt, but what happens next will shock you. What was the miracle that happened during this event? How did Allah send a message to the people who were doing this? If you are feeling drowned in the sea of sins, when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. People are sharing this specific picture across social media platforms after being amazed by what they have witnessed. Brothers and sisters, as Muslims, it brings about a great deal of pain and sadness whenever events like the burning of the Holy Quran, its observance and violence against Muslims occur. Such acts not only hurt the sentiments of Muslims, but they also brought attention to the intolerance that still exists in some parts of the world. These pictures are posted by some non-Muslims on the internet where the sacred book of Muslims, Holy Quran, is seen being burned in front of the mosque. However, many people have noticed one shocking thing that was truly unexpected. Brothers and sisters, is it possible that the book can stop itself from burning and that too leaving behind a specific message for people? The answer is yes. Muslims who have seen this picture of the Quran are surprised to see the miracle from Allah. What actually made people startled by the incident is that the burning surprisingly stopped at the specific page of the Quran shown in the picture. Where the ones who were doing this did not have any idea of consequences of their actions, but Allah the Supreme saw it all. They were not expecting to this happen and when it stopped, the verse that was left behind for them to see was from the first chapter of Quran, Surah Baqarah, named as the cow. Brothers and sisters, if you look closely in the picture, you will see ayah number 211 of the surah, where it starts by addressing the children of Bani Israel and asking them to beware of doing such actions. The verse from Quran goes like this, Ask the children of Israel how many clear signs we have given to them, and whoever changes the blessing of Allah after it has come to him, then Allah is severe in punishment. Brothers and sisters, can you believe this? Subhanallah. We are able to only see these verses of the Quran where Allah is addressing Israel and warning them of the severe destruction and punishment that awaits those who dare to tamper with the blessings of Allah. Subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, isn't this ayah a great message for all people from Allah? Allah sends His signs and messages to the people throughout the universe. Recently, a man found a book of Quran fully compiled and well-preserved in the middle of the ocean. However, when he opened it, he was shocked to find this ayah. What was the message? How did he get to find the book in the depths of the ocean? It was just a regular day where a person went scuba diving in the ocean in South Africa. Ian Haggerty, a Muslim and an expert scuba diver, reached meters down the ocean the bottom of the ocean which is fairly difficult to reach for many divers in the world. But as he reached there, he noticed something unusual on the floor of the ocean. He went close to look at it and to his surprise, it was a book. What seemed like an ordinary book turned out to be the holy book of Quran. When he tried to read the book, the page flipped to Surah Nuh and this verse could be seen on the page. Do you find it astonishing that ayah comes to you from your Lord? and through one of your own warnings, so you may be aware and perhaps showing mercy. But they rejected him, so we saved him and those with him in the ark and drowned. Why this ayat? Why was the Quran wide open waiting for that scuba diver to read? It tells us the consequences of disobedience and what will happen if you do not ask forgiveness and mercy from Allah. Brothers and sisters, Allah describes the tales of the prophets who faced these hardships and struggles, yet the believers who had faith in Allah's help were able to overcome them. 
Prophet peace be upon him used to remind sahabas that just as the earlier generations had strived and asked for help our umma would also face difficulties and ask for Allah's help as he reassured that verily Allah's help is near and we have certainly tested those before them so that Allah may make evident those who are truthful and those who are liars this serves as a reminder that tests and trials are a part of life and through them Allah differentiates between those who are sincere in their faith and those who are not our faith in Allah is knowing that Allah's help is near and it will arrive at the perfect time according to his wisdom may Allah strengthen our faith and help us to always remain on the true path of guidance amen brothers and sisters we see how beautiful our islamic teachings are as muslims we have been always taught by Allah and his messenger to maintain patience and forgiveness in our heart so that we may not do zulm with others and with ourselves even with the rebels prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam would instruct muslims to show mercy and compassion and not deprive them what is rightfully theirs it was narrated in sahih muslim bukhari during the time of battle of khandak prophet peace be upon him asked abdullah bin mas'ud o oh, ibn umm abd do you know what allah's command is concerning this umma's rebels the best knowledge belongs to allah and his messenger he replied prophet peace be upon him declared their wounded ones will not be laid hands on and their captives will not be killed the one who flees will not be pursued and their properties will not be divided among the spoilers prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam wanted to ensure that the rebels were treated fairly and respectfully even during times of conflict may allah grant us patience and perseverance so that we may be among the best believers ameen if you are feel guys this is other amazing i think you should check out that book because i think i possibly will search on it because the book kind of makes sense i feel people's story kind of inspires us and inspires us to live good life that's why i read some books because i feel it actually makes sense like if you read books you actually learn from people's mistakes and not create yes but based on this i feel the current is a good book but in fact that i once a friend of mine once told me a story and he said i saw a guy he his mouth was burnt and my friend said what happened to him was that he used the quran to smoke and his face just catch fire and his face got burnt and that day i was puzzled like i was like wow the quran but i don't think they worship any true god seriously that was what was in my mind that day and chile if you can hear this so that was in my mind that day and i was like okay <laughs> I, i i believe him but i was like i'm not sure it's current but based on what i've been hearing and since i've been saying maybe it is but guys this is the last chance of my channel make sure to check out that book because i will too guys i'll see you next time guys but